so that when you do go to use it, whoa! Okay, it's a little windy. <laughs> okay, this is why we use checklists, people. I was breezing right through this video and realized I completely forgot to pull up the checklist. If you are in the midst of setting up your Kajabi site, the marketing settings, drip settings, and third-party integrations, and you wanna do it accurate and efficiently, you are in the right spot. Yes, there's a subscribe button. I encourage you, click it if you haven't already, and you will know the next video in this series as soon as it is ready. In this series, I have been going through all of the settings for your Kajabi site. So you can watch the previous videos. I've linked those. This video is covering marketing settings, drip, and your third party integration. So let's get started first with your marketing settings. We're always going to start on your dashboard. From there, you want to click on settings, which is in the lower left-hand corner. You can just follow the blue dot along with me. And here, we are gonna start with marketing settings. So when you open this up, this is where you will fill in your information. You can see this is my test site. So it is test site information, but you would put your name or the company name, your address. This does need to be a legitimate address. For those of you that don't want to put personally identifiable like where you live or your cottage or your whatever you can always get an address a mailing address through various means at different post offices or uh, fedex sites ups sites um, that kind of a thing so you do you don't want to lie and believe it or not 3526 go that away drive in north pole alaska is a legitimate address it was on my four real driver's license for a very very long time uh we don't live there anymore uh then you're going to fill in your company logo now this information I personally leave this blank because it tends to pop up at the most inopportune times in places that I never ever expected. So as often happens with tech, we push a button here and it farts in a completely different location. And that is what this portion does for myself. So I leave this blank. Feel free though, you can put in your information and then when it farts where you weren't expecting it, you can always adjust it at that level. So I leave that portion blank. Now the email settings for those of you that are sending email out via Kajabi, you can adjust this based on the instructions that Kajabi has and have it come from your domain. All you need to do is work through, right here, this little bit of information. You'll put in your name, your email, where you want it to reply to. It will give you a preview. If you want to change this to the custom domain, all you need to do is follow these instructions. Now, the beautiful part with this is that you can change things. I like to say these are instances of temporary tattoos. Yes, it's on there. Yes, it serves its purpose. And when I'm done with it, I can just wash it off, change it and put it on something new. The other piece you're gonna take care of here is the time defaults. So you can pick any time, again, you can change it. It also is temporary tattoo. And this is when you're creating a sequence and you're sending it out, what time is it generally going to go? This you can adjust on email broadcasts. I'll cover that in a different video. But this is the stuff that, you know, is just sending out based on the automations and the parameters that you set on your Kajabi site in a few different areas that are impacted by email sequences.
second part we're going to cover today is your drip settings. Now, drip settings have to do with when your content becomes available. So one of the features that is available in Kajabi products is a drip feature, and I will show you where that is located. I'm not going to go in depth on setting up drip content, but I think it's always important to know where does this, where is this impacted by? And it's not obvious from this screen. So this tells Kajabi, I want you to release or drip product modules, which are now project lessons, project content. I want you to drip this out at what time? So this piece right here where it says send an email to customers when product modules are dripped. If you leave this checked, Kajabi will send an auto email from your email templates. I will also show you where that's listed because again, not always blatantly obvious. If you uncheck this and click save, then your email sequences that you might have set up in terms of letting people know when content is ready or whatever you're guiding them through, then that can take the place of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it checked. Again, this is the test site. So first I'm gonna show you where this drip content impacts the content. And secondly, I'm gonna show you where the main email template default is for this email that sends. So what you wanna do is click on products. Again, this is where the drip impacts the content. So you wanna open up one of your pieces of content, which is in a Kajabi product. And this just happens to be how to train your puppy. You may see my puppy running around in the back which is why we are filming outside today. She wanted to be outside, I can't blame her. Uh, over here where it says published, I can change this to drip. So the drip goes based off when an offer is purchased. Yes, there's a few other settings that can go with an offer. Make sure I will link the video where I go through all of the different areas that are impacted by an offer, but this is where you're controlling it. So that should help you orient where you are and you can drip categories and subcategories. So those two pieces, which are now called modules and sub modules, you can drip at both of those levels. You cannot drip at the post level. So each individual lesson which is what a post used to be called. For those of you wondering, why is she using two different words? It's because Kajabi just recently updated the language. And so some of us are used to the old words and we're learning the new words. The other piece I want you to make sure you know where to find it, and there will be a video coming soon on this topic, is the default email when content is released. So from settings, again, we're just following the blue dot on the video, you wanna go over to email templates. When you open up email template, we're going to just look through right here. These are all of the various emails, which I will be doing a video on all of these, but there used to be one when new content was released. And there it is, member drip notification. Okay, they look, think they've changed the name of this, but member drip notification is new content is released from a product that is in their library. So that is the email that is controlled by this drip settings right here. Question for you, do you like when people drip out content or do you like when you can just get all of it all at once? Would you tell me in the comments below? I know sometimes I like the please slow the fire hose feeling and other times I'm like, okay, you're going way too slow for me. Could you just let me have it and I will be responsible with it. So I'd love to know. Do you like drip when you're the customer 
Or do you just want the whole fire hose all at once? All right, final section for this video is third-party integrations. So there are native integrations. That's what you're gonna see here. You also can use Zapier. Zapier makes you happier. I am a huge, huge fan of Zapier. It is one of my team members. It is amazing. It gets so much work done for me especially repetitive, methodical, perform the same way every single time kind of work. But third-party integrations, this is where you can hook things up. So if you are using another email provider, not native to Kajabi, you can use them both. I know many people that use them both. This is where you would come in. You can connect your Aweber, MailChimp, Drip, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign. You can also turn on your analytics. I know Google Analytics are going through some major, major shifts, so that information could change in the future. Your Facebook Pixel, and like I was mentioning, Zapier makes you happier. I'm a huge, I'm a huge, 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 huge Zapier girl. Uh, and this is also where you will find your API key and your API secret key, which you often need when you are turning on third party integration. So really this is an area if you're like, what are you talking about? If that's how it's feeling to you right now, then you don't need to pay attention to this part. You just keep humming along with what you are doing. File this away in your brain. This is an additional power source for your business. You are able to plug in to the power of Aweber. You're able to plug in to the power of ActiveCampaign. You are able to plug in to the power of Zapier. That is how I view third-party integrations. When there is a tool that gives me, my business, my family, my life, whatever the case may be, additional power, that's a good thing. That is what third-party integrations, that's how I view them, that's how I use them, and you will if you hang around in my little corner of the world, we definitely use automations in an accurate and efficient way so that we're not having to repeat work. So that is what um, third-party integrations are. Okay, this is why we use checklists, people. I was breezing right through this video and realized I completely forgot to pull up the checklist. I am famous for these checklists for just this such reason. I forget to use them at times. So this is, we're gonna go through now before we moved on. So if you are actively going through um, making sure you do everything, this is for the entire site. So the other two videos, we've gone through these other pieces, which is why you're seeing me just scroll through them. Right here, we're gonna just make sure I covered everything. So marketing, yes, we know how to get there. Contact address, logo, email settings, and email draft sequences. Covered it all. This is, hello sweetie, this is so you don't miss anything. Because again, do it right, do it right the first time. Um, I do not repeat this. And if you like these checklists, feel free, please check out PBK. This is available to all members of PBK at all times. Drip settings, we covered this. I showed you where to go and I showed you where, um, how to change it and oh, also bonus, where it lives in the product and where it lives under email templates. Next is third-party integrations. So we did this, we did this. Email integrations, I mentioned all of those. Those are all still the same. We haven't added any additional ones. Analytics, absolutely. I highly recommend always turn on Google Analytics, always turn on your Facebook Pixel. Even though you might not know how to use them, you want the sites gathering that information for you so that when you do go to use it, whoa! Okay, it's a 
a little windy. <laughs> a little windy here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so you have the data when it needs. I know. Was that, that was exciting. That got everybody's attention. And the other piece, which was Zapier. So Zapier makes you happier. I will also link to that video. I've done a couple on Zapier. So that is it for this video. The next one is queued up for you. And please, if there is anything I can do to make your life easier, let me know. I am now going to go remedy the flying umbrella so that little Miss Scout is not freaked out by it.